Every year, I try to find a challenging and surprising theme for my Brafa stand. This 2015 edition, I have decided to showcase Travel Artworks with Joseph Orion, a remarkable Belgian sculpture active in the 70s. When I had the opportunity of discovering Joseph Orion's sculpted work at his son's house about 10 years ago, I had the impression of discovering a whole new tribal culture unlike any other. His sculptures provoked an intense emotion in me because over and beyond their intrinsic quality, they question, they express a mysterious language, a word of universal breath, just like tribal arts do to me. Dead prematurely, Joseph Arion was a figure in the nascent world of tribal arts in Brussels. He drew inspiration from his African art collection, a largely unknown subject at the time, to produce his unique art, which touched me at first sight. Henry Arion found his subject in the real world and in the literary works like Gunther Grass and Kafka's. He was also inspired by magic, the language and presence of African art. From an account technique he observed in Ghana, he taught himself and developed a lost wax casting process to achieve complex works with materials as precious as bronze, silver and gold. I had the pleasure of working in close partnership with the artist family and of acquiring about 40 pieces for this exhibition, from the most monumental to the smallest masterpieces. The collection covers 10 years of creation and follows the evolution of his art step by step through a series of cast crows directly inspired by Günther Grass' dog's ears, the machines that interpret every detail described by Kafka in the penal colony, and finally his work in stone that had a greater place at the end of his life. It became obvious to me that his work has as much his place in my gallery than the work of tribal art that are my specialty and passion since I was 19 years old. I am proud today of having been able to publish a book that pays tribute to Joseph Orion's great talent. I am also happy to invite you to the exhibition of his works in Brussels to discover this conversation between tribal arts and Joseph Orion's works both on my standard Brafa and in my gallery in the Sablon.